How's it going guys? We are back on my video here and this video is going to be going over what to do with your fantasy hockey collectibles you get from objectives and also I have an X Factor choice pack opening. We're going to get this started off with the X Factor choice pack opening and then we're going to go into the fantasy hockey collectibles discussion. All right, so make sure you guys do leave a like, subscribe if you have not already and let's hop into the video now. Dang. Wait. No! Dude, this is so scott. I can't even open now. Dude, she doesn't stay. All right, there you go. I better. Here we go. Big mind, oh whammy. Let's go. Got, tell me numbers, all right? Bang. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. One, two, or trace. All right. Tell me a number. Whatever a number I see first. Three. We're going number three. Come on. Give me a good X factor here, EA. We're getting young Drew Doughty. We're not young, and he's like 55. But yikes. Now we want Drew Doughty. I, I that was my my opening X factor. All right, one or two. You guys are saying one? All right. I have to go with number one. All right, come on, Connor, please. Number one is uh, Tomas Hurdle. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Dowdy. I guess that could be good because of his Evo. I'll hold on to Dowdy for sure. All right, last but not least. It is... Seth Jones, wow, that was a pretty rough X Factor back opening. So the answer is no on the prediction. And Dowdy, I guess it could be good because of Evo in theory, right? Okay, okay. Well, we need Dowdy to cook. I mean, I, I, but the thing is, it sucks because I got to upgrade him anyway. Ugh, I don't know. That really was not great. That is, uh, that is not great. I mean, Dowdy, like I said, hurdle for Evo, no. Well, that is an Evo too, Corey, and he's an 84 already. Hurdle 72 overall. <laughs> it's, it's funny because I already had Dowdy too, right, as my, my starter. But, Drew Dowdy, there you go. Welcome to the team, even though he won't be on the team, probably. So, you know, I mean, that X Factor pack was not terrible. That Dowdy can be of use, no doubt about it. It really can, uh, especially if his fancy card keeps going up. Hopefully it does. But, all right, now talking about the fancy hockey collectibles, all right? So if you go to the objectives here, uh, you can earn a good amount of them just through this. These do last for 18 more days. However, uh, you more than likely, you, well, you can't make fancy hockey sets uh, once this does expire, all right? Once the, the event expires tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. So if you guys want to make a fantasy hockey card uh, choice or just a card, you gotta make it before 5 p.m. Eastern tomorrow on Friday, okay? But you got a good amount right here. So you got uh, 9, 12, you got 15, all right, 18, 21, 24. You get 24 fantasy hockey collectibles, okay? Now the thing is, what are you gonna do with that, right? So it's still quite expensive even after you do that, right? So that's maybe the tricky part for a lot of people. But what I recommend is this, guys, okay? Straight up, I'm going to be honest, if you're able to get enough, I just would make Terravine and straight up, okay? I would make Terravine and straight up, and the reason why I'm saying make Terravine and just straight up, because he's popping off the most so far. He's an 84 overall card already. Uh, I definitely would not be making Sagan. Definitely not. Uh, you could just you could definitely make Chikrin. I would not say you're wrong for Chikrin. Chikrin's an awesome card. Uh, he's just obviously going to take a little bit longer, right, to go up. Uh, unlike Terra Vine, at least we think, right? I mean, Chicken could also start cooking, right? But Gaudreau, Sagan, those guys are going to take so long to get to a high overall, to be even usable. Like, it might take until February, honestly, for them to become even, like, somewhat decent. So, I don't know. Personally, guys, uh, I I would definitely go ahead uh, and make the Terra Vine in. If you're really looking for someone like Riley, for example, you're looking for like a Dylan Cousins, well then you gotta make the 32 and just hope for the best. Again, it's a random, it's a random player. Like there's no guarantee you get anything anything good out of this, which is really unfortunate. But I really, if you guys get enough collectibles, I'd definitely go with Terry Vinen. And also another thing, what's the best value sets, I'd say. So after you have those 24, say, collectibles, you need 12 more. Uh, I would definitely recommend trading in five 83 pluses to get one each time because it's, it's just it's not as many cards 
Definitely the 82s and 83s, I, I definitely wouldn't be going... I mean, if you have 84s, definitely do that in 85s, too. But I definitely wouldn't be trading in 30 80 pluses. I just think that's a really... 81 plus, I think it's a waste, for sure. Like, you could use that for power-up collectibles. I, I think that's a waste, I really do. And, and the same thing, 35 80 plus is kind of crazy to me. Because, again, you could make a, a ton of power-up collectibles for that value, right? I mean, think about it. If you, if you look at power-up collectibles, you can get what? Uh, let's see, let's see. You can get... For 81 plus, you trade in 30. Well, I guess it's kind of similar value in theory. I, I guess they kind of value it the same way, Luki, uh, the more I look at it, actually. Yeah, you know what? Actually, interesting, interesting, interesting. So it's kind of the same value of a power-up collectible. So take it back, what I just said. <laughs> Honestly, I, I didn't even realize. Well, I mean, that's why I got to be more prepared. But yes, uh, overall, guys, uh, I think Tyra Vinan's your guy. I would definitely go for it. And uh, whatever, you, whatever you got, I guess, whatever it takes to make him, once you get... Again... There might be a set where you could trade in fantasy collectibles for maybe power-ups. I could see that, uh, potentially, uh, when this event does go away. So Because you got to do something with the collectibles, right? If, again, my thinking is the fact that the objectives are going to be up for 18 more days. So that means it's going to be over the event, and it's going to still be up. You're going to be There's going to be some sort of trade-in for those fantasy hockey collectibles. I mean, it just kind of has to be, right? It just would not make any sense at all. So... Yeah, Tara Vinen, to me, is the guy, uh, and just, you gotta, you gotta make him. I mean, I don't know, that's just, that's to me the, the guy you should go for. I'm gonna definitely make him pretty soon here as well, and uh, that's kind of, that's kind of it for this video, and, and for what I recommend for you guys to do with your collectibles. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Wow, a little farewell uh, fix with the follow as well, even though I'm recording. I'm not even live, but thank you so much for the follow. But as always, appreciate you guys watching. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik at 3Es. And join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers to the channel. I'll see you guys all in the next video.